It's a brand new day, a brand new week, and a brand new life. Thanks be to God. Hi, my name is Brother Pio and welcome to Repeal Lections. What was the most important, expensive, or valuable gift that you have ever received? And why? Let me know in the comment section below and let's hear it from our friends. Hi, this is Tere from Paris. I have been given so many great gifts in my life, so to help me reflect on what is truly the best gift that I have received, I have to savor the words best and gift. Jesus is the best gift that I have received in my life. There is no gift greater than the gift of Jesus dwelling within, within my human heart 24-7. Gift is given voluntarily without expecting any payment in return. And I have received Jesus without any particular effort on my part. I didn't do anything to earn Him. And Jesus is He's the perfect gift that I have ever received in my entire life. He is pure. He is the most priceless gift that I have received. And I can only rejoice and exclaim as 2 Corinthians Thanks be to God for His indescribable gift. Amen. Hi, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Nell, and I'm a worship leader from the Peace Kuala Lumpur. This afternoon, I'd like to share to you my answer to Brother Spiel's uh, question. What is the most expensive gift that I received? So my answer to that, brothers and sisters, it's, it's Jesus. You know, it's it may sound cliche, really, but... We all know that, you know, in our lifetime, we are looking for things to make us happy, you know, for us to gain peace and for us to feel the real love. And true to be told, happiness, peace, and love can only be found by the name of Jesus Christ. So brothers and sisters, today I'd encourage you to revisit your relationship to the most expensive gift that we already receive in the name of Jesus. You know, by opening up yourself to Him, understanding more of His words, and walking happily with your faith with God. So I hope that gives you excitement, you know, to maximize the most expensive gift that we already have. Have a blessed day today, brothers and sisters. Receiving gifts is a heartwarming experience. It reminds us that we are loved and valued. We usually appreciate gifts which are expensive or those that are useful and are given to us in a timely manner. We also appreciate gifts because of the efforts that the giver went through just to get it for us. More importantly, we also appreciate gifts because of the giver themselves. Perhaps it is someone close to us, our grandparents, our parents, our spouses, our siblings, or maybe your crush or your ex. But while it is a beautiful experience to receive gifts, I believe that there is more to gifts than just receiving. I believe that gifts are there for us not only to hide, but to use in order to share to others. That is why I love our theme for the celebration of 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, Gifted to Give. Yes, friends, we have been so blessed with lots of gifts, but most importantly, with the gift of our faith, our salvation, and the love of God for us. And just like all gifts, these are not to be hidden within us, but rather this is to be shared to the world. But while we cannot impose this on others, while we cannot force others to receive God's love for them, we can actually let them experience His love by loving them ourselves. Through our compassion, through our forgiveness, through our patience, our kindness, our time, and our prayers. Friends, as we journey towards Easter, let us audit ourselves and let us assess what are the gifts that we have received and how can we use them to bless others and give glory to God? Can we pray together? Loving Father, we praise and thank you for all the blessings and the graces that we have received. Lord, grant us the wisdom 
the strength and the courage to use these not only for our benefit, but also to bless others so we can give you more glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this Monday. I pray that you will have a blessed week ahead. Take care and see you on the next Reap Elections.